Trespassing, metal man.
I am convinced he is not here. I should inform this place of his family. Jensen! Thank God! I'm down in the dungeon, man! You remember the title of my super-secret book, right? I remember it's red. Jensen, my favorite techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? They're not gonna be a problem anymore. What did they want? You behind on your protection money? I, I don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. The Valley internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down. The day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. 
Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. Took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know I've always wanted to get a closer look at those sari fogs of yours. A real close look. So, uh... So let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then, well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Uh, feel my way around. What exactly are you going to do to me? I'm not sure yet. First, I gotta get in there to see what's wrong. But don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to you I wouldn't do to myself. I promise. Besides, you've been here a few times. You know I'm professional. You've never had to put me under before. I never saw you the day after an explosion before either. That was a big shock to your system, man. Kaboom! Now, you want me to fix you or not? Hang on a sec, you gonna put me under for how long? What if the Diwali send reinforcements? Oh, you're just stalling. Those illiterates aren't going to get in here. Don't be scared of the chair, okay? The chair is gentle. I promise. This thing with the Diwali is nothing. Otar's pissing where he shouldn't. I count on you to fix me, Kohler. To some extent, your problems are my problems. That's sweet, Jensen. Otar Botkoveli is the Diwali number two guy. The men outside, they were his men. But the big boss man is Radic Nikoladze. He is the number one guy. And I know Radic, so... So don't worry about it. Now, are we gonna do this procedure, or what? Alright. Let's just get this over with. Relax, Jensen. It's... it's gonna be fine. You... you won't even know I'm in there. You'll feel weightless, far away, like you're someone else. But Kohler's gonna bring you back and make you you again. Before you know it. I swear I didn't mean to... Your retinal display should be back soon. You can still move, right? Where, where did you... I was... I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you got some strange fucking ogs back there. I, I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have. Here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh... Just ease out. Getting no freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Colin? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these... these, uh... I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. These are your implants. You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. David Seraph installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well, I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. Turns out your Factory Zero is not the standard Factory Zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. Hidden inside your body. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers. See that? Major spike in your power consumption! Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man... You want to use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just gotta make sure it doesn't fry you. Now, I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. 
try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. See that? Cooled you right down. You have the power to balance your system if you want. Just, you know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. Okay, so I'm not always gonna be there for you like this. I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. Thought you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The shit I found hidden inside you, spliced into your system like that, looks to me like it's from Mars, man! I'm pretty sure they're not from Mars. I just... I feel bad. You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. I help you make the most of the new augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraph installed all my augs. There's something inside me I don't know about. He's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Saris' work. These new augs, they... They look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoriological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Sarif, you need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. You ever seen anything like this before? An AUG system that's deliberately hidden like that? I don't know, Jensen. I mean, I heard of people getting the black market treatment before. Pass out in Prague, wake up in Shanghai. But usually they wake up with less augs, not more. What exactly makes these augs so different from my other ones? They look like experiments, is what. Loose wiring everywhere, man. It's, it's like half of you is uh, untested, unfinished, unbelievable. It's... it's beautiful, is what it is. Why would Seraph have hidden these things inside me? I don't get it. I am not convinced this is a Sarif job. The tech itself is super high-end, but the PDOT insulation, sloppy. The bone mounting mounted on the quick. Just doesn't have Sarif's touch. Looks more like a retrofit to me. Something much more recent. Well, what are you thinking? I'm thinking how much I hate being unconscious. You said these additions look recent. How recent? Within the last two years, give or take. Something happened to you in that time? I was pulled out of the ocean and put in some facility in Alaska to recover. It was a few months there that... The more I try to remember, the blurrier it gets. Shit, Jensen. That's terrifying. This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here, take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. Keeps customers happy. Just, uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless what, Kohler? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Otar. A neuroplasticity calibrator. There's a way for me to use everything I have without compromise? I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? But... My last shipment got intercepted. By Otar Botkoveli. 
The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. If that sounds like something that interests you, then you should know that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. The entrance is in a small courtyard off Hlavni Street. Thanks for the info, Kohler. Thanks for the praxis. Man, you know I love you, Jensen, but we both have work to do. What do you need? Give me a rundown on these experimental logs you found again. You got two distinct systems in that garage of yours, Jensen. One is Saris. Those augs are tested, safe, reliable. The other ones were hidden, and man, they are screaming for juice. You need to overclock your rig if you want them to run. You made it sound before like there were risks involved. Basically, you could overheat. And if that happens, well... That's the whole experimental mystery part. I'm not exactly sure what could happen. You're not filling me with confidence here, Kohler. No, 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 don't say that. You can mitigate the risks by permanently disconnecting one of your more standard issue augs. One for every new aug you decide to try out. In fact, as your doctor, I highly encourage you to... to test your limits. I'll keep that in mind. This calibrator you need, what is it exactly? It's a device that allows me to measure and manipulate neuronal connections. I mean, I can eyeball with the best of them, but for any type of advanced procedure... So you can't optimize my system without this device? An OTAR just happens to have it. I was having a shipment of tools delivered to somewhere I shouldn't have. An OTAR intercepted. I'm sorry, Jensen. This situation I got with the Diwalis, it's not really your problem. I'm starting to think it is. What else do I need to know about Otar? Otar Botkoveli is the second in command of the Diwali crime family here in Prague. People say he is a good guy to have on your side. And if you're not on his side? Then you hide behind the wall and hope Otar doesn't find you. It's frustrating, Jensen. I... I got this deal with Otar's boss, Radic Nikolazzi. Way under the table, super secret. The Diwali are supposed to stay away from me. Guess Otar didn't get the memo. Tell me more about your relationship with the Diwali. What exactly are you caught up in? Well, you see, it's... It's not so much a relationship. And not so much with the Diwalis, per se. It's more of um, an occasional contact with Radic Nikolatze. Alright. So this contact you happen to have with Radic, then? The problem here isn't me so much. Radic has a habit of keeping things from Otar. And Otar, he doesn't like what he doesn't know. So he puts heat on me as a way of putting heat on Radic. Trying to burrow into his secrets, you know? Does Radic have secrets buried here with you? My deal with Radic, part of this deal, is that I don't talk to anyone about my deal. Not Otar, not you, no one. No offense, Jensen, you scared the shit out of me. Otar, he scares the shit out of me. But Radic... Radic is worse than both of you put together. I spoke to Sarah earlier, before you made your little discovery. He got in touch with me after seeing footage of the train station attack. You should talk to him again. I mean, if it was me, if, if there was something inside me and I didn't know where it came from, I would want whatever answers I could get. You're saying you know where every single piece of you comes from? I am not fancy like you, but we are similar in some ways. Both stuff with more tech than our bodies can handle. Both pushing the limits of augmentation. The big difference is I am my own maker, Jensen. There is no one for me to thank or to blame but myself. 
That's all I need for now, Doc. Yeah, yeah, okay. And hey, good luck with that shit. Don't fry yourself, alright? Jensen, it's Miller. Listen, I need your eyewitness report as soon as possible. What's your ETA? Depends on how many cops ask to see my papers. Fuck. Not much I can do about state police after yesterday's attack. Get in when you can. Miller out. I cannot help. Adam, what's going on? I didn't expect to hear from you. I didn't expect my doctor to find dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test augs spliced into my system. 
Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? My God, you've got a tight nog. It's impossible. It was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. It wasn't. The DoD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. These schematics you saw, don't suppose you kept a copy? They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. Got his master's degree in Moscow, post-grad in the US. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were uh, sketchy at times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? The woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all a strong woman like your ex. I've got to find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon, but I can make phone calls, reach out to people. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead, why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. My god, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraph. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. Interesting look. What is this? What happened to the globe? They bored me. Shit. Bye, These papers are on me. The old Kremlin Company. The Santa Cruz. Excuse me. Mějte na paměti, že předměty týkající se augmentací, například biobaterie a jisté nástroje, i další augmentací. Are you telling me you don't think they should all be moved there? No. Vážně jsme k něčemu dobrý. Sir.
I'm always telling you, Rado. People in all countries are more genuine. They treat each other with respect. If a man has something to say, he says it to your face. Politely. That is what... Right. Go away, Clegg. We're closed. Oh, he is not here to gamble, Vanu. Are you? You're Otar? I am Mr. Botcovelli, yes. And who are you? I'm here on behalf of a concerned third party. Oh, you hear that, Vanu? Our guest is a very private person. I found it pays to be cautious when you don't know exactly who you're dealing with. That is true. But sometimes it can create uh, problems which could have been avoided had they been more forthcoming. If neither man is willing to compromise, they cannot reach a satisfactory understanding. I would like to avoid any misunderstandings. Good. So in this case, since you already know my name, and no doubt are other things about me. I think you owe me the same courtesy. I'm with Interpol, but I'm not here to cause any trouble. Organized crime is someone else's department. I'm here to pick up the shipment you're withholding from Vaclav Kohler. <laughs> Vano, look. The only honest policeman in Prague. Kohler must want this item very much to send someone like you. But I will tell you what I told Kohler. No, he cannot have the calibrator and... You can't either. Dealing with Augs is bad business. A point which some people in this organization have yet to understand. Kohler didn't send me. I volunteered after he explained his situation. Sounded like he can use a little help. The truth is, though, I'm doing this for me. I need some repairs done. And Kohler needs the Calibrator to do them. Do you believe this, Madvano? Such commitment to honesty. But now I wonder about your commitment to other people. But tell me, Mr. French, how far are you willing to go to help out a friend in need? If someone needs my help, I give it, any way I can. <laughs> it is like I am always telling him you can get a lot accomplished just by having a conversation. I will let you have the calibrator. Thanks. And what's it gonna cost me? Listen to the man, man. Even when he gets what he wants, he does not trust it. What shall we do with such a man? What will it cost? A favor. What kind of favor? I don't worry. I will let you know in due time. It won't be too painful. Not for you. <laughs> what do you say? Do we have a deal, mister? Jensen, we have a deal. Excellent. Upstairs, in my office, you will find Collar's Calibrator. I will be in touch. Medical ballista can kill us all. He is a guest, for now. Too wet down here, getting sick. All right, Kohler. I've got your neuroplasticity calibrator. That's great! I'm gonna pencil you in for that optimization procedure. Just as soon as I'm done with this house call. What house call? I got this other client, you know, doesn't like to be kept waiting. Neither do I, Kohler. Call me when you're ready. What's next? No, it should be done. Hey, 
Do anything suspicious. More than a few are allowed. You are going to die in this place. Yeah, this metal will get us deep. Nice coat. Take my advice. If you were thinking about shipping something with these people, don't. Can't believe a word they say. I have to help this customer. You have other things to do, maybe. It's like everyone's smiling. This whisper chip you gave me, it's an easy plant. You're heading into TF-29? Already? Our enemies aren't waiting around while we lick our wounds. Fair enough. There'll be a data port on the NSN's motherboard. Access it and then just plug and play. Or plug and record in this case. Got it. I'll let you know when it's done. our firewall last night. <clears throat> Next thing you know, after every mission, we'll have to talk to some bookworm with no experience in the field about our feelings. director Miller's He didn't come from Miller. He came from higher up. Adam, 
You're here. You made it in. It's good to see you're okay. Hey, Aria. Yeah, it was a close call. I got lucky. A lot of people didn't. I was here working when the first reports came in. It was chaos. Phones ringing off the hook, people yelling, scrambling to find out what was going on. Then when Miller told me you were there, I... I'm all right. Good. You looking for him? Because he's tied up right now and meeting with Lyon, I think. Really? He's using the NSN right now? Yeah, I just saw him. Oh, hey, that reminds me, here's yours. What's this? The card for the shooting range. Chang changed all the codes this morning, said something about only giving access to people he's vetted personally. The bombing really freaked him out. Third one in six months, can you believe it? I just... I'm really glad you're okay. Thanks, Aria. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Yeah, I better get back downstairs. It's gonna be a busy day. Come by later if you want to talk. Copy that. Initiated. Access granted. Whisper chip is in. Weird, it's already picking up a freak. Jesus, Adam, is Miller in there right now? Shit, gotta go. Jensen, I need to see you now.